you do have to prepare the clay, and when you prepare the clay, it's called wedging. And what it does, um, clay sometimes have these air bubbles in them, and what happens is that if you don't wedge it and take the air bubbles out, when you fire it in the kiln, these air bubbles will pop and it might kind of break your piece. So you want to kind of really compress the clay together. And I, and I want, just wanted to say to everybody who's watching us today, kill is the oven. <laughs> I didn't know that, but now I do. So you wet your canvas table and um, it's kind of hard. So what you do, this is called wedging the clay. And it takes some, uh, some it, muscles it, right it there. It takes muscle, it takes muscle. <laughs> and um, this is a really small ball of clay. Here, I'm gonna take that out so they can oh, really yes, see yes, the work yes. that's happening here. And generally, depending on the type of clay you have, depending on how old it is, how many air bubbles you think it might have, um, you can wedge it up to 100 times. You might need to wedge it for only 20 times. But I mean, this has been pre-wedged, so I don't have to wedge it uh, like 50 times for you. But this is how it looks like. You want to hit it, pack it nice and firm. There you go. And whatever clay you're not using, you want to put back in your bag. So that it doesn't, so it doesn't dry, dry out. Because clay is a very precarious medium. And if it dries out, then it's all over.